Eastman Little Middle School just off 70 and West Florissant in North City. News 4's Ashley Lincoln is investigating tonight. Ashley. Well, Courtney, you can see these injuries are serious. His grandmother tells me the boy had to be taken to the hospital after being kicked in the head last week. Now, his grandmother says overall, St. Louis schools needs to do much more to protect special needs students. When I came to the school and saw his face like that, it just broke my heart. Bruised and bloodied is a stark contrast my girls like me. from the jovial preteen. Me, I, 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 my feet. Kim Clay says she knows her grandson, Keyshawn to be. He doesn't want to go back to school. He's scared. He had a concussion from the person who kicked him in the head. But Clay says this could have been prevented had leaders at Yeatman Little Middle and the district done more. It's commercial. He's special oh, needs with autism and ADHD. I had enough because um, I think this really terrible that the boys jumped on him like this. She says her grandson recently transferred to St. Louis Public Schools from University City. University School District, he had no problem. Clay claims Keyshawn's specialized learning program was reduced from more than 10 services to just five with SLPS. She says an SLPS district leader told her they don't have funding to provide all of those services. This is not fair. He's no longer in a small classroom and doesn't get a specialty teacher to accompany him throughout his school day. I don't really don't want to send him back. I reached out to the district to see what can be done. A spokesperson said because of privacy laws, they cannot speak specifically about Keyshawn's case, but did say they have not made any broad sweeping budget cuts in special education programs. However, they say they've made some reductions in their services due to decreases in enrollment. I want him to learn like he was learning before. The district did not address how they plan to respond to bullying, but they did say altercations do happen. We'll continue to stay on top of this story. In the meantime, Clay says she may look into alternative schooling that can cater more to Keyshawn's needs. Reporting live, Ashley Lincoln, News 4. A St. Louis woman